Good afternoon, Aiken. My name is Michelle A. Jackson, and we are here at Cumberland Village to speak with veteran Richard Carmichael. Let's go ahead and start out with your experience in the service. Uh, could you describe that or just start us off with how you even got started with serving the country? Sure. Uh, when I graduated from high school, uh, I joined the military and became a uh, parachutist. I went to jump school and uh, I was in the military for 20 years in the infantry airborne and I fought in Vietnam two years in Dominican Republic about uh, two months and uh, the 20 years I was in I, I learned a lot. I got a worldly education. So you said that was um, during your high school after your high school you went directly into service I did uh, when I joined the military I was in high school I, I was dating a woman who I married uh, we've been married for 54 years now uh, July and uh, she was a majorette and I played football and she went to Auburn and I joined the service and so maybe after um, you said you served in the war so maybe after that, what was life like for you? Uh, when I, in between my tours in Vietnam, I was an instructor at Fort Benning for the Airborne. I was teaching uh, Army, Navy, Marines, Rangers, everything, how to jump from planes safely and land safely. And uh, my tours were... Uh, I would go to Vietnam, come back, and uh, teach again. So I, was, I taught five years at Fort Benning between tours. And uh, again, I learned a lot because I was in touch with all the services. And I enjoyed being an instructor because I love to jump. And uh, if you've ever jumped from an airplane, I mean, not tied to somebody, but jumping on your own, it's the uh, greatest thrill you can have. What does Memorial Day mean to you? Oh, Memorial Day brings back memories, good and bad. The worst memory I have is while in Vietnam, I had this young man assigned to me as a machine gunner. And he was from Georgia, and his name was Love. We got ambushed, and Love got killed. And when Love got killed in the ambush, it made me so mad, I attacked the ambushers. And they gave me a bronze star for valor for that action in Vietnam. But I wasn't heroic, I was just mad as hell. So uh, I lost Love. And I tried not after that to remember too many names or become too attached to people because there's always a chance of you losing them. And I didn't want to hold those bad memories like I have with love. But uh, the rest of my career it has its ups. Like I say, I've done things in the military that no other people have uh, had an opportunity to do. And it's been enjoyable. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back after a quick commercial break. Welcome back. Please join us in remembering the local men and women who gave their lives for our nation. <laughs> 